Kristen with Collision Hub, and NACE 2015 from Detroit is a wrap. It was an interesting show this year as more OEMs came and exhibited and we were on hand for teach classes. We had a chance to meet with them more on a one-on-one -on -one basis and look at not only what they brought to the show, but have discussions around what were coming in the future. And the bottom line is, it's changing rapidly. We thought we had seen it all with the Ford F-150 coming out in aluminum, but GM with the revelation of the Cadillac CT6 has showed us that aluminum is only going to amp up and amp up by all the manufacturers. Between Honda and Chrysler and some of the other OEMs on the show floor, it's going to be an interesting next five years for collision repair. And all we can do is to encourage you to ensure that you're training up and that you're tooling up for the future. So make sure that you're paying attention to all of the offerings that are out there, looking at not only what's on the floor today for you to be repairing, but what's possibly coming to you in the next couple of years. Be sure that when you're making purchases for equipment, that you're purchasing wisely. You know, OEM repair certified shops are going to be the wave of the future. It's going to be a major source of referral work to repairers, and so you're going to need to be on those certified programs. And to do that, you need to make sure that the equipment you have in your shop is certified for multiple OEM programs. Make sure you're purchasing the best equipment. And as always, watch Repair University whenever you can. We're going to continue to try to bring you the most up-to-date repair information to make your shop better every day. And if you have some suggestions for us or there's some content you can't find and you'd like the answers for, well, we'd love to hear from you. So we hope you've enjoyed the coverage from NACE, and we'll see you at SEMA 2015.